I'm Lex from the content team at the National Football Museum. The museum's collection is packed with the history of the game of our lives. In this video I'll be taking you through 11 museum objects on the FA Women's Super League who celebrated their 10th anniversary earlier this year. Our first object is this programme from the very first WSL match where Arsenal faced Chelsea at Tooting and Mitcham's Imperial Field. Though both teams struggled with an uneven pitch, the match was a success with over 2,500 spectators in attendance. Julie Flaherty scored the only goal of the game as Arsenal won 1-0. The Gunners would later go on to lift the title, becoming the first WSL champions. Sticking with the beginnings of the WSL, Object 2 is a new acquisition for the museum and provides an insight into the process of applying for the WSL. An application pack, poster and handbook from the league's inaugural season. A rare item of WSL history that shows us some of the intricacies involved in setting up a new league. Of course, women's football in this country has a rich history even before the FA's involvement in the league structure. Doncaster Bells are one of English football's most successful women's clubs and our third object is a fan scarf on display at the museum. The club was founded in 1969 as Bellevue Bells and became Doncaster Bells two years later. Six-time Women's FA Cup winners and two-time national title holders, they were one of the eight founding WSL clubs. Their legacy continues to be recognised and the Bells have three players who feature in the museum's Hall of Fame. We now move on to some of the stars from the first 10 years of the WSL. Our fifth object is a photo portrait of Enya Luko by Jane Stockdale for season zine in 2018. Luko had a distinguished career, being capped 102 times for England alongside spells at Birmingham City, Chelsea and in the US. During her time at Birmingham City, they finished WSL runners-up, the club's highest finish to date. Object 5 is the Severton women's shirt worn by another WSL legend, Farrah Williams. England's record appearance maker, with a huge 172 caps, Williams has played in England for the entirety of her 20-year career debuting for Chelsea aged just 17, starring in the WSL for Liverpool, Everton, Arsenal and Reading. It would be at Everton's rivals Liverpool that Williams would win consecutive league titles. Object 6 is a shirt belonging to another WSL great, this time recognising their contribution at international level. A Team GB jersey worn by Casey Stoney during the 2012 Olympic Games, where she played alongside four players featured in this list as GB made the quarterfinals. Stoney appeared for Lincoln, Liverpool and Arsenal during the WSL era in a 20-year playing career. In 2018, she became the first head coach of Manchester United Women, leading them to the WSL at the first attempt and establishing them in the top four. Stoney presented this shirt to the museum in February 2020. Object 7 is from a goalkeeper who played regularly alongside Aluko, Williams and Stoney at international level. A Manchester City goalkeeper shirt worn by Karen Bardsley in a league match against Chelsea in September 2016. That day, the citizens won 2-0, resulting in the club's first ever WSL title, just two years after they'd joined the league. Three years later, City would be joined by United and we'd see the first ever top flight Manchester derby in the women's game. Played at the Etihad Stadium, the match drew a then-league record crowd of 31,000 fans. Object 8 are Gemma Bonner's embroidered boots from this match, where City won 1-0. The boots were custom made to celebrate the historic derby and depict a hand-painted Manchester worker bee. Our ninth item is from the very same game, the Match Day programme. Due to the record viewing figures for the 2019 Women's World Cup, three fixtures were moved to Premier League grounds, one being the Manchester derby. Sadly, the 2019-20 season would be curtailed by the Covid pandemic and the league would be decided on a points per game basis. This resulted in City, who were top of the table having played a game more, finishing second, and Chelsea being crowned champions. Object 10 is a Chelsea shirt from this season, worn by Lionesses legend Anita Azante. The shirt has a bold navy design inspired by Stamford Bridge, and was worn by the Blues as they completed a league and Continental Cup double. Azante previously starred for Arsenal and played 71 times for England alongside a club career in the US and Sweden before returning to the WSL in 2018. Our final object brings us up to date with the WSL. The Guardian newspaper from the 10th of May 2021, showing Chelsea winning the WSL title on both the front and back pages, a rarity for women's football. Chelsea beat Reading 5-0 to secure their second consecutive WSL title and fourth overall. 
The newspaper shows the increase in women's football coverage, something the National Football Museum reflects with our pledge to increase representation of women's football to 50% across our galleries. So that's our 11 museum objects celebrating the 10th anniversary of the WSL, but which objects would you include? Let us know in the comments. Find these and thousands of other objects in our online collection at nationalfootballmuseum.com. Thanks for watching and subscribe to our channel for more football history content.